Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. So, testing server just opened up today. New class is coming out. I have been far away. Was not expecting this so soon. The summoner just came out. Not even that long ago. How long ago was this? Seven months ago? Yeah. I mean, it's a good amount of time, but I'm just not used to characters coming out this quickly. I'm so used to the game company just making the ninja and then selling the game. What we have here is the Kensei. And so what this is, is sort of the old samurai. If those of you who played back then remember whenever the samurai first came on testing with the old sprite, it had two different abilities that they were stuck between. One was the wakizashi, which is what we have in game right now, and then the other was like this dashing slash that went on the ground, which was the sheath. And that's what this character, the Kensei, is going to be using. I'm always down for another katana class. Bring me the goods! Oh yes, wow. That's a... That is way more than I was expecting. Are they just called UT? Okay, they don't even have names yet. That's fine. That's all well and good. So our stats at max, what do we got? 65 attacks, so in between Samurai and Ninja. 75 speed, so actually faster than the Ninja. So we have a heavy armor Katana class with nearly identical attack index to the Ninja and the same speed. Same vitality, it seems, too. Aside from the, the you know, the fact that it doesn't use a ninja star, I, I certainly hope this isn't going to be a straight upgrade to the ninja, kind of like how the summoner replaced the sorcerer. I mean, it didn't fully replace it, but a lot of people view it that way. Channels briefly, then entered, enters dash mode. Dashes towards cursor location. Three dashes after channeling. Whoa. What the heck is going on? Well, I gotta say, I was not expecting this. So whenever you right-click, you go into dash mode. This lasts a certain number of time. You have this many dashes left. If you use them all, dash mode ends. And you get iframes for each and every one. You also throw out a little projectile and deal damage. So it's about, clearly, maneuverability. Positioning. Go around the enemy, you could go through the enemy go out the other side. That's not bad. That's interesting. Again, it's a speed-focused ability, which is very ninja-like, and I'm not sure if I like this being so close to that class and just becoming a straight-up replacement, but it makes sense to have the higher armor given how risk-reward and close quarters this ability probably is going to be. I mean, that has some decent range, so you could probably... We'll have to use this in action. Let's look at T1. Does the radius get bigger? Okay, so you get defense on each one. Damage goes up. Looks like you get three dashes on each and every one of them. That doesn't change. The 20 seconds is the same. The only thing that does change is how much defense you get, and then the damage, of course, scales. Hits multiple targets, so it pierces. Range stays the same. This one has shots. Let's take a look at this. Oh, the shots go up. It's a double instead of a single. And then we go up here, T6, we have three. Making it more reliable, okay. And those each do 1100 damage. Wow. Okay, and this is clearly why we have iframes, because this is going to be putting you right in harm's way constantly. It's not a lot, but it's enough. And, and what if you spam it? You can just... <laughs> Oh my gosh. You could just run up to a target and spam it three times. I gotta see that. So you can also just use the dash as an escape. If you ever feel like you're about to take a shotgun, you can just go right through it. Let me try this. <laughs> I just deleted him. That completely missed. So, clearly with this type of speed, it's gonna take a, a steady hand. Just spam it willy-nilly, you're probably going to miss a lot. Won't be optimal. And you are likely sitting directly on top of people, which is... very unideal, but... Yeah, the fact that the counter is right on the front, it... It seems like that would be a bad idea, but it makes sense, given... the the nature of not wanting to look over here when you're going so quickly. Let's try it on an event god.
New Daichi White is amazing. Oh, giving Daichi a good, good White, make us do a Mountain Temple. Incredible. I'll try out those UTs in a moment. When you're slowed, this is a great way of getting out. I wonder if, when you're paralyzed, if you can do it. I have to tell you in right away. The iframes really do tie this together. It's gonna take some getting used to, though. Let's have some fun. I like it. I certainly like it. So you can get around the map quickly like this. Yeah, it's like a ninja star in chunks. That really is like my only big fear that ninja will become obsolete. Maybe they'll rework him eventually. I feel like everything's destined to be reworked at some point. I like it though. I like the movement. I like the idea of having like an escape and an approach at all times. It's sort of like the trickster's teleport, but without just snapping to a location so you actually have a little bit of... You can observe the path instead of it instantaneously appearing at that location. So it's a bit easier to follow. And the iframes make it so that you don't die. I mean, imagine if tricksters had that. You could just TP and then... Whoops, you TP'd on a Gigacorn and you it didn't die. You didn't actually die. I'm not speaking from experience or anything, I'm just saying... Alright, let's try these UTs. Let's give this a shot. So this is 400 damage. Which is a bit weaker than T7, but still pretty strong. Dash towards cursor location, three dashes, looks all the same. 1200 damage. Oh, the range. The range is pretty large. Let's see. 56 MP cost. 98. These are some weird numbers. 87. 84, 50 to 70? So longer range, lower MP cost, but for lower damage. Whoa! Longer range in this case means they take longer to travel. Looks like you might want to use this backwards, since it will take less time to travel. Let's try getting rid of these guys. Or, if you just preemptively set up where the enemies are going to be, you can destroy them. Let's try this. This is a little bit weaker. Low range. Slowed for two seconds. Well, there you go. And it goes out. Flies in a circle motion. And this combos with it perfectly because you can sit on enemies. Sort of. Realistically, I think there might be... I want to say there's a frame in between you dashing and then dashing away where you'll be vulnerable so you can't sit directly on top of an enemy whenever they're doing a, an instant kill shotgun. Let me, let me observe. Ooh, maybe you can. The slow is great, too. That's pretty fast. If I go into this mode and TP in and TP out, it doesn't look like my shield's going away. Let me see if I take any damage. I did not. So yes, you can TP onto an enemy and then out and probably get max damage. They have created a weapon of mass destruction. And it's not the Calamity Crab, it's us now. Spawns three plants that deal AoE damage. You still get the dash. So they, okay, they're summons. And they disappear very quickly. So the the TPing in and out rule doesn't apply here since they resummon. So that one you you'd almost want to do it while running past an enemy. Yeah, like set it up. What's the range on these? Not bad. It's not great. But again, with the right setup, I'm sure it can be devastating. 
I think without the ability to TP in and out, it might lose some of its... Does this also slow? No. It does? Okay, well then never mind. Maybe this maybe this does have its application. Unless that was a coincidence. Who's slowing? It is me. It has to be. Just doesn't say it. Okay, yeah. Well, that's nice. Makes it a bit similar to the other one. Kind of seems like maybe only one of these should slow. Fulmination Scepter is getting less and less unique every day, sadly. UT4, what do we got here? Two dashes, thousand damage, eight range. What's the specialty? Okay, so they travel really quickly behind you. Three shots. So you could dash really quickly in a straight line. Let's try it. Seems decent. Seems pretty good. I remember whenever the summoner came out and I, w I looked at the incubation mace and I tried that out. I said it was okay because I wasn't using it properly. And then turns out it's uh, like the most busted item in the game. So only take my words in gameplay with as little grain of assault as you can. And then finally, the, t the fifth UT. A lot of range on this one. Shots boomerang. I like the sound of that. Yeah, okay. This is really gonna play into the whole zigzag method here. Beow, beow. Whenever you enter dash mode, you just get a little ghost man. So this one does quite a bit of damage. 1800, long range. And it has a boomerang dash, so... Oh, that time I did not save myself. So this one has a lot of good potential. Here, let's see. Getting right up close and personal with these enemies. Now let's try the ST set. Oh. Oh, that's a nice animation. This is probably the best running animation we've ever had. Whew, whew, a lot of... A lot of weight in those steps. I like it. By which I mean it's... It's determined. It's weighted yet weightless at the same time. I like it. You really get a sense of motion. Holy moly. This is another one of those weapons that looks insane but hard to use. I see. It's like a tidal wave. Yeah, harness the energy of the wind. Okay. Low amount of damage on each shot, but if you get all the shots, it's good. It ignores the defense target, so it pierces pierces enemies and defense. Well, <laughs> killed him very fast. Anyone else? Any other volunteers? Takes a minute to get to the enemy, of course, but this is kind of like the Luke Oryx wand. In a way. Yeah, bit slow, and that's kind of the point, but... I I'll see. I'll, I'll sleep on that one. Summons a tornado. Oh, and you can have... Oh, up to three at a time. Okay. And they follow you. They do not follow your cursor, though. They just follow you. Well, that makes it a bit easier to manage. And they despawn after eight seconds. They deal a certain amount of damage. Oh, let's try it here. They're pretty fast. Like it. Pass their obstacles. Not bad. So it's kind of like a... Like a mace, in a way. That still gives you the dash attack and the iframes from it. So, really, it's got the best of both worlds here. Tidal Wave Kensei set. And not a bad sprite. It looks weird next to the Battle God. This armor heals for 400 HP when under 50% HP. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. 25 second cooldown. Yeah, they're really getting into those proc effects. And this is on shoot, though. This isn't on getting damaged. So at any point, whenever you're under that amount of HP, you're probably going to be shooting anyway, so this is 
almost a passive, under half HP, which could be anything relative to what your max HP is. So in my case, it's like 460, and then I instantly heal up by 400, which almost puts me back up to full. And that's 25 second cooldown. 21 defense. 20, that's not bad. That's what? Vengeance armor? It's decent. And 4 dexterity. Which on this character, whew, wow, beefs you up to 95. Which makes sense given the erratic shot nature of this katana. 80 HP and 6 dex. They're getting good at making ST rings now. They used to be the laughing stock of the town, but now they're they're all pretty decent. So you run fast, you shoot fast, you hit pretty hard, and you have good defense. Plus an ability that gives you iframes whenever you dash and tornadoes that follow you. Not a bad set, just kind of a weird weapon, and I think that's really the only drawback. Yeah, I think I, I enjoy playing as the class. I think it's a really unique ability, possibly the most dynamic ability ever, which is a bit refreshing after the summoner was a bit passive with its point, click, hold and point and click some more. Granted, Realm has always been a very simple game at its core. I don't mind simple mechanics existing in it. Sometimes it's preferable. You can't go wrong with a wizard spell bomb, but there is still the aiming factor to that. Getting a perfect spell bomb is really where the money's at. And that's not easy to do with moving targets. That's where the skill comes in. Summoner really was just point, click, hold the button, and they kind of do all the work for you. So let's make it a wand class since it can't have that much DPS on its own. The DPS comes from the ability. This is incorporating ability that has damage potential on its own with the actual damage it can deal, forward momentum and all that, but it's also an insane maneuverability option. It's like, again, the trickster's prism, sort of like a shuriken giving you the speed boost, and the invulnerability that it gives you on each dash really is the thing that ties it all together. I'm curious to see what the community's overall opinion on this is right now. In any case, if you want to try this out for yourself, it's on testing right now. If you have access to it, by all means, hop on for the weekend. I encourage it. Really give it a fair shake. Experiment with it. See what you like, see what you don't. Give honest feedback. And knowing Decca's current track record, we'll probably see this character in the game within a couple of weeks. When it makes it to testing, it's usually pretty close to being finalized, so... They might change a few things between now and release, but generally it's probably a fairly finished package. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.